Hi, I'm Timmy from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to show you how to make the cake pan in the oven to bake with. We'll start with the oven. The pan is made exactly the same, it's just smaller. We'll start out with a piece of 12 by 12 aluminum and come in all the way around three inches. From the edge in three inches all the way around. Then you take it and fold it into a triangle this way, fold it into a triangle this way, and unfold it again. That's where these creases came from. It'll probably come this way when you get it anyway. Then all you have to do is fold along all these lines. I use a straight edge. You only have to do this the first time. After that, it'll fold by itself. And when you get all done, just go around and Straighten your sides up a little bit, square everything up. Real easy stuff to work with. And there's your oven. Okay, we've got the oven all built. Now we need this little pan. Now this piece is eight and a half by eight and a half. And I come in one and a half inches. One and a half inches all the way around. Is your cake pan. Now all you need now when you get ready to cook, you gotta go out and gather some rocks. Uh, this is about the right size, a little bigger than a walnut. Something fairly flat works well, but anything just to keep the pan oh half three quarters of an inch off the bottom of the oven. I just randomly place them in here. I try to put a few or a big one right in the middle where the flame from the stove is going to come from and uh, that absorbs some of the heat and kind of makes the bottom of the pan last longer. Although I haven't burnt the bottom out of the pan yet, it doesn't seem to be stressed in it. So I put the big one in the middle where the, where the stove flame is going to come and then I disperse the rest of them around that. I try to get them all somewhere near the same height. So it'll just keep the pan up off the bottom and these rocks will absorb the heat and turn it into a, a regular oven. After you get your cake batter or your muffin batter in your pan and set it in here, you're going to need a cover on it for the top of your oven. I just use a regular piece of aluminum foil. This is heavyweight. Try to center it up somewhat and then just pull the edges down. And Fold them around the corner. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Now, quite often I'll dome the lid a little bit so that if the cake rises, it doesn't stick to the lid. That's really all there is to it. So that's the oven part of it. Now after you fill your stove, holds about an ounce and a half, and fill your water jacket with three quarters of an ounce of water, fill the water jacket up just as high as you can get it, because this is going to have to cook for 35 or 40 minutes, and it's going to get hot. Put your pot stand on, place your oven right directly on top of your pot stand and center everything up. 
Now after you've cooked with this about 20 minutes, depending on the temperature around you and how close your windscreen is and a lot of other factors, this stove will probably flash over and you'll start getting flames out of your vent jets. At that point in time, you're probably into the cook process 20 minutes. The rocks in your oven are very hot and will hold the heat for a long time. What I generally do is just lift the oven off out of the way, blow the stove out, dump the water out, put some more water in the water jacket, top it off with alcohol to cool things down. By then my, it's time to slide the wick down from high where it'll be when you start to well, fairly low, about like that. Relight the stove, put the pot stand on. Your oven will still be plenty hot because rocks in there will have maintained the heat the whole time. Put it back on and finish out your next 15 to 20 minutes of cook time. Now in the last five minutes, <coughs> if the stove flashes over and starts burning out the jets, don't blow it out, just let it let it burn because it'll burn extra hot and then the last three to five minutes that'll help you brown the top of your cake. That's generally what I do. So that should be everything you need to know uh, to bake with uh, aluminum foil and a black fly stove. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Have a great day.